Take two. I don't know what happened to my recording, but it did not record the whole thing. So I'm going to start over. And I may or may not decide to do it with music because I discovered at the end of the other one that I was really, I really explained myself pretty good. So I hope I do it as good the second time around. I am doing the choreography, this Katie, for a dance for six people to Rick Pino's Nothing But the Blood of Jesus. I went to the retreat three years ago. It was the first conference I'd ever been to, and I really, really loved that song. It just spoke volumes to me, and it's just so anointed. And I had choreography forming in my head ever since then, so every time I hear it, I would see more stuff. And So I decided to choose this one and go ahead and get it done. And it utilizes six dancers, but I also see it with many more dancers if you wanted to, to uh, accommodate it to more. And part of the dance has a cross in it that I'm using two dancers to make the cross. But if you have to actually had a wooden cross, you could accommodate, you know, stand up the wooden cross and accommodate for using it. Okay, so in the beginning of the music, the dancers are going to carry in, you have six dancers, and each dancer will be carrying one of six red items, two red billows, two red flags, two red streamers. They also will be carrying, four of them will also be carrying uh, one of four items, a red, not a red, a white dancing cloth, like a veil, two of those, and two white streamers. And they're going to come in and strategically place them on a prop table on stage left and stage right so that they can get to them in the dance where it's needed and uh, They'll just be there correctly. And that's what they're going to do during the intro. And then they'll take their place to begin the, the, ver the verse. Now the verse. I'm going to have them be uh, two sets of three in the first verse. I'm going to have them do an echo, this first section. And so I don't want them to do it really, really big, but I'm going to have them do what can wash away my sins and then that's three dancers and then other three dancers will go nothing but the blood of Jesus and it's lots of time in there and then the other three will do it again only it's what can make me I'm gonna make them do whole again because it's creative license here not pure sign language and the other ones will go nothing but the blood but they don't say of Jesus, he says, oh, and that's, they'll all, six of them begin to get into a formation of a cross. And they're going to do the cross where they're like this, and I'm going to have them do some turn, a turn and flow. And then the, the cross on stage left and stage right will break apart, and the cross in the center will back up, and it's my cross. And the cross on stage left and stage right will go get the two red flags and come and give the cross in the center so they'll be holding the red flags overhead. So, overhead, overhead, overhead. I don't want this thing to shut off. I think that's what happened. So, thank you, Father God, for making this video work for me. And now I have a cross in the middle, and I have four dancers, and they are going to come back, and instead of echoing this time, no echo, I want them in a leveled formation. You know, one tall, one on their knees, or squatting down, and one, you know, levels. You know, we know how to do that, levels. And so they're going to sign in unison, the same sign language, only on levels. And it goes through both, nothing but the blood of D Jesus. And they're going to then get ready for the chorus. For the chorus, how precious is the flow. They're going to go to stage left and stage right and pick up a red billow. Actually, I'd have to fine tune it as I worked it out with them. Two dancers will pick up a red streamer. Then two dancers are gonna pick up one red billow and they're going to dance around with it. They're gonna dance into the audiences, if, depending on how big it is, over them with the red, it's the flow. So they're gonna dance with the flow. That's the whole point right here to me in this dance is um, how precious is the flow. 
So, and the billow, you know, really undulating and moving it around. And at the end of that chorus, they would hang the red billow over one side of the cross, kind of draping down a little bit over the arm of the cross. And the two with streamers are still going to keep going with their streamers. And then the two with the, are going to go pick up another billow and do it again. And by the end of the second part of the chorus, it will drape over the other side of the cross. I'm talking too fast, but I did this once. <laughs> so I don't want to just think I'm done and turn itself off. So, uh, and at the end of the second version of How Precious is the Flow, the two dancers with the streamers are going to walk and put this, the streamer in the hand of the cross. And then the blood will just flow down right there. And, you know, bill on or wad up on the floor, so nobody trips over it or anything, it's just going to be right there. So we have a cross with lots of flowy blood on it. And we go into what I call as the bridge. And the bridge, the bridge, the bridge, bridge. I'm going to upload this part, and then I'm going to go on and upload the next part in case something happens so it doesn't get lost. <laughs> Stop.